American Craft Beer Fest is sort of a comic con of craft beer, except for people walking around in costumes. Well, there was one guy walking around in a costume. Todd and Jason Alstrom have been holding this event for five years now, and each year it gets bigger than the last. The event started almost 10 years ago. We, uh, we were going to a ton of beer festivals, um, and we decided one day, you know what, I think, um, I think we'd actually do a better job that respects beer better and also supports the brewers. The brothers founded Beer Advocate in 1996, first as a website, and then added a magazine. This year, about 15,000 attended the festival over two days and three sessions. Over 120 breweries from all over the country poured 550 different beers for thirsty event goers. There are a lot of stories to tell at an event like this, but I found what I hope you think is an interesting microcosm of our growing local craft beer industry in Massachusetts. Three of our more recent breweries are run by married couples. Dan and Martha Paquette opened Pretty Things three years ago. Caitlin Jewell and Jeff Leiter opened Slum Brew last year. Chris and Grace Tukach opened Idle Hands seven months ago. How's the dynamic, too, of a uh, husband and wife? Uh, <laughs> you spend a lot of time uh, you kind of divvy up your brewing, and she's kind of doing... Uh, yeah, I do mostly operations. So I do all the brewing deliveries. You know, um, Grace will help out with packaging and marketing side of the, the house. Marriage is a lot of work. Starting a business and making it a success can be risky. Combining it two and pulling it off is quite the feat. Since craft beer is less than 10% of the overall beer sold in America, there is plenty of room and opportunity for new brewing companies to pop up. So all ships rise with the tide, we say. Now Martha and I draw all the, all the labels. We brew all the beers ourselves. It used to be, you know, middle-aged guys drank craft beer, and now it's like you see this, as many women as men at this. Extremely diverse. Exactly. All walks of life. This is a fantastic event because Beer Advocate brings in interesting brewers from all over the country and all over the world. So when you come to events like this, you get to try things that you wouldn't if you weren't spending a lot of money on travel. I would always love the event itself. Um, and I you know being here now as a brewer has been, it's, it's great just because of the exposure that we get. You know, we get a lot of people coming up saying, hey, we've never heard of you, try our beers, they absolutely love them, they come back. These are people you get to meet that go out and, and drink and purchase craft beer uh, every week, you know, for the most part. So we like to meet those people. I always say that, you know, you got to meet the people that, uh, b before they'll, they'll buy your beer. Even in these tough economic times, the craft beer industry is thriving in our state. The economy is down, but craft beer is going up. In the beginning of 2010, there were 31 brewing companies in Massachusetts. Right now, the number is estimated at 44 and growing. So that's an incredible amount of growth in the past 18 months. 41 for Massachusetts on the floor today alone. Uh, I don't know how many, do like a dozen or so from the Boston area, yeah. some of which um, just started very recently. So it's a very exciting time. Three married couples, two brothers, one guy in a superhero costume, and one of many guys walking around with homemade pretzel necklaces. How do you get this many beers in one room and just free for all, go right ahead. Try anything you want. You've never had it before. You don't have to buy a six pack. Yep. You just get, you get a little two ounce little cup and go right at it. If you drink, drink responsibly and support your local brewer. For Beer Bloggles, I'm Michael Flaherty.